Today we are going to do this sunburn or sun kiss type of look inspired by models and I'm going in with this Ohai Beauty Serum I think it is to sort of prep the skin and quench the skin before starting. I like this CoverGirl Ensolazole Primer. I've been trying it for a few days and Ensolazole is a chemical sunscreen. I'm surprised that I like it just because I prefer physical sunscreen but this one's really nice. It moisturizes and primes the face while providing uh, UV protection. I'm gonna wet my beauty sponge and I'm going in with this Matte Ambition uh, Full Spectrum All Day Shine Free Foundation by CoverGirl. And I'm going in with the same shade but a little bit warmer than what I would usually wear. So if you see it when it's blended out, out it actually is the same color as my neck, but my face is a little bit paler just because, you know, I tend to wear more sunscreen on my face anyways. So rest assured, not too orange, so I won't look like an Oompa Loompa. Using my Daiso Beauty Sponge, I'm just going to blend it all out. For concealer, I'm going in with this super affordable The Sem Concealer. Um, is this, this is in a shade number two, I think, and it's one of the darker shades, but I just use it for highlight because it's actually quite light anyways. And I'm just going to tap gently and blend that all out. This one has SPF as well, so it protects from the sun, so it's great for everyday use. To make sure it, it, there isn't any cakiness or anything like that, I'm going in with a buffing brush to buff it all out. I'm next contouring my face with this Etude House Play... I don't know, contour stick, some contour stick thing. Um, it's really affordable and I got it on Yes Style, so I was like, oh, why not try it? It's actually really nice and I end up really, really liking it. Yeah, it works really well. There's three shades too, I think. So I picked a little bit of a warmer shade just for the summer to put that color back in my skin. Don't forget to blend it up the hairline to help con like just blend all that contour in. I really don't like when the hairline looks super pale and then the contour is like super orange. I don't know if you guys noticed that. I'm using this brow marker because I'm lazy and this brow marker is so fast. Like it's not the most precise to be honest, but it's fast, it's a marker. It's by Clio and it's, it, I think it stains a little bit too. So it's really, really easy to use. I mean, for everyday looks, you really, I mean, I don't really have the time to use such a fine pencil to detail every single hair, but this one works pretty well. I'm going in with this ELF brow brow gel. It's in the shade taupe. It's a neutral taupe color, uh, super affordable. I think I picked it up at the Elf store. I think they're all closed now. The Elf stores are closed. So, I mean, this is my last product from there. <laughs> I'm gonna cherish it. To warm up the face even more, I'm going in with this Rimmel bronzer. I actually used a setting powder before this. It's the Ohio one. Um, this Rimmel bronzer is just amazing. It is in the shade Sunlight, I think. Sunlight or Sun Dance. One of those shades. It's on the warmer side, so, you know, it's gonna come off a little bit more orange. But for this look, I think it's perfect because that sunburn, sun kiss look is kind of reddish anyways. Like, you're red from the sun. I'm also gonna use that to define the eyes and use it as eyeshadow. I like using bronzer as eyeshadow. I think it just... It just is the perfect shade. Next, to go in to add more color, I, I thought just a bronzer would be kind of boring, so I added some yellow. This one is by Desemil, Semil, I don't know. It's hard to find good yellow pigments, to be honest, so this one is not bad, I think. Um, yeah, it blends pretty nicely and it shows up my skin. Um, yeah, I'm going in with this CoverGirl Peach Scented trunked peach punch palette it's called I'm going in with the lighter shade to just set a base so all the eyeshadow sort of blends nicely I'm gonna use this more angled brush to pick up a medium brown pink pink brown i don't know it looks brown but 
I don't know, on camera, it looks kind of pinkish brown, which is fine. It's on the warmer side anyway, so it's not like a cool tone. I'm just going to use that and sweep it all over, uh, especially in the front and in the back. I like creating a soft, soft halo effect. I don't really like a, a halo effect that's too strong. If you want it stronger, you can use concealer in the middle, but I prefer it very subtle, especially for this type of sun-kissed look. Just keep blending and create the eye shape that you want. Next up, I'm grabbing the darkest brown and just defining the eyes just a little bit more where you need it. Basically at the lower and upper thirds, the ends, and just lining my eyes as well for definition. So when, you know, I have hooded lids, so I have to line it a little bit more. So when I open my eyes, it actually still shows. Um, but if you don't have hooded lids, you can keep it very, very thin to where your lash line is. After that also, I'm gonna feather in with the brows so it creates even more dimension. It makes me look like I have thicker brows. I'm gonna just draw in some faux lashes with this marker eyeliner from Clio. Super useful. I really like this marker to line my eyes, lashes, and also do freckles. I find that it's the perfect because it's so sharp, you know, the tip? So you can sort of dot it and it looks so natural. It's really one of the best products out there. It's by Clio, by the way. After that, I'm gonna go in and blend everything out more and add more color wherever I want to add. I think I'm just darkening some key points and highlighting some key points just so the face looks more dimensional. For lips, I'm gonna go in with this super affordable Wet n Wild lipstick. It's really, really nice. I, not sure what the name is, but I'll link it down below. It's like the perfect mauve color. I think it looks good on all skin tones. And truly, like, this color looks good on all skin tones, light to dark. And you can just feather it out with your fingers. Other than that, I'm going in with this Sunny's Face. Janice actually got this from me. It is a Filipino brand, and this is in the shade Vacay, I think. It's the orangey shade, um, but if not, I'll link the proper name down below. But I think it's in the shade Vacay. It's such a velvety finish, and you know, I just gotta represent my Southeast Asians, am I right? After that, I'm just gonna do any finishing touches, add a little bit more bronzer where I need to, um, just to see how the whole face ties in. I don't think I even put blush for this look because the bronzer, I think, acts like a blush already. I also contoured bottom of my mouth, as you can see there. For highlighter, I'm going with this super affordable glow highlighter wheel by a Dude House. I'm going for the more gold colors and just highlighting wherever I need to. And after that, I'm just going to pinpoint highlight as well. I like highlighting like the middle of the face instead of just the cheekbones. Uh, I find that's more natural. And I also highlight the top of the lids so it looks more dimensional. So wherever I didn't apply the contour colors, I'm going to highlight. So then it just makes it more 3D looking. Well, we all need that, I think. Going in with this Micro Cara by Innisfree is the only mascara that I know how to use because the wands are tiny. So I really recommend it if you're like a beginner, like a mascara noob like me. It's easy to use and I use brown, so it's not as harsh. I use the Way, the Uai, Way. I'm pretty sure it's Way pomade to sort of just give my hair like waves. And after that, yeah, I'm just gonna powder everywhere and just remove shine where I don't want it. And this is the finished look. Yay, thank you so much for watching. Oh, I got this ear, uh, gold necklace from Artemis Apollo. I love it, it's so pretty. I just love it. There's, it comes with a matching bracelet too, so yeah. All right, that is the finished look. Thank you guys so much. It's super cute, super sunburned, super sun-kissed perfect for spring to summer if you try this look please 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 tag me so i can see it and repost it i hope you guys are all well all taking care of yourselves don't forget this is a safe space it's our space and you're always welcome all right i'll see you guys in my next video bye